Business owners in southern Macomb County are resting a bit easier tonight after the arrest of a, what police are calling a serial burglar. Sean Lay has been following the story for weeks and explains how officers finally took down their suspect. This truly is a remarkable piece of police work. Police watching a young man over in Farmington break into a gas station. They let him walk out of the gas station, then follow him right back to this home here in Warren. Only local four cameras are there on Dean Street just off of Ryan Road this morning as a house is raided. The suspect's cousin describing for us how it all went down. House got raided by the police. I wake up about about 10 officers in here, but they're looking for guns and stuff. And I'm like, there ain't no guns here. Sources telling local for the man taken into custody is believed to be a serial burglar hitting multiple times in the area. They also believe he is the man caught on security camera here at Dairy Freeze in Centerline, a family owned business that took the break in in a very personal way. Today, that owner, Susie Cox, is thrilled. Beautiful. I'm very excited. Police have been looking out for the suspect for weeks, and this morning they followed him over to Farmington Hills. Sources say police watched him break into a gas station at 10 Mile and Middle Belt and then followed him back home. I didn't know he was still breaking in the shops, period. I've been trying to help him get a job and get back on his feet, get his daughter in his life. Multiple charges are expected. That is music to the ears of Susie Cox at Dairy Freeze. Words can't even describe, like it's very, exciting to think that they caught this guy you know to it's just ridiculous how much he's been doing that suspect expected to be in court bright and early tomorrow morning on multiple breaking and entering charges out of warren centerline farmington hills and st Clair shores sean lay local four